I think that you are so full of bull. I don't understand. What do you think I am? Why? Well, something you can just pick up and use whenever you feel like it. I know you fancy me. Oh, please. Oh, great. Sorry, but for me, you got about as much sex appeal as a dead dog. You what? You heard. And since when have you been so fussy? Hey? Well, I know all about you and... Me? What? You and Jack Woodman. Don't you ever mention his name to me again. Look, if you're worried about Shelley, then don't. No. She's nothing to do with this. She happens to be my friend. Well, it shouldn't stop you having a bit of fun. It doesn't. Look, you don't know what you're missing. Oh, I could always ask Shelley, of course. What? I'm sure she'd fill me in. Oh, come on, Shelley. Oh, That's not what I'm... matter, Clem? Can't take two rejections in one night. When did you find out you had AIDS? I don't have AIDS. I'm HIV positive. And I've known a couple of years. I'm so, I'm so sorry. It's not fair. It's just not fair. Oh, nice. What? What do you mean, what? It's obvious, isn't it? You are looking at a prize idiot here. I don't know what you're talking about. Shelley and Mark, that is what I'm talking about. How long's it been going on? What? Them sleeping together. What are you doing? I'm going to go and look for him. What does he look like I'm doing? No, Clem. Oh, just you... shut up. Sometimes when I wake up in the morning, for the first few minutes of the day, I've just forgotten. It's not there. It comes back. Is it chill? You caught it from? Some drugs or anything? No. So? I don't know. So what are you going to do? I kept thinking we could sort all this out between us. Somehow keep being friends. And I thought that if you knew about me... You should have told me. I just couldn't. What did you think I'd do? I don't know. Did you think I'd run a mile? Is that what you thought? It's not easy telling anyone. Not anyone. I know. You just don't trust me. That wasn't it. You can't know me, Mark. You can't think that much of me. I didn't know what you'd do. Shell knows, doesn't she? Yeah. Anything. She wouldn't. She's my friend. She should have said something. She's also my sister. You've been lying to me all this time. You've been lying to me. Michelle's been lying to me. But he's been telling me the truth. Wasn't it? If you'd have just told me, then I would... What? I don't know. Leave me alone. around. I was worried. Just why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you tell me? Shelley, what do you want me to say? You're supposed to be my friend. I still am. Some friend. Look, I had to do what Mark wanted. Why? Well, you know why. So that I can make a fool of myself. You didn't make a fool of yourself. I did. You should have told me. You should have told me. I'm sorry. It's not good enough. But it's the best I can do. 
you'd have done exactly the same as me, exactly, and you should be shouting at Mark, not at me. Well, I was trying to tell you not to get involved, wasn't I? Because I knew this had happened, I knew this is at an end. Shelley, I'm not trying to stop you have a good time. I wasn't trying to muck up your life. I was just trying to stop this mess from ever happening. You know, he really never meant to hurt you. He always was a closed book. None of us ever really knew what he was thinking. But for him to be the way he was with you, well... I've never seen him like that with anyone else before. Joe? Well, it was different. They lived together in Newcastle, and when she came down, it was to break bad news. So it wasn't quite the same. You know, it's funny, I was always so jealous of her. Dying of cancer just seems so romantic. You've got nothing to be jealous about. You know, there's only one way I can handle this, Michelle. He really likes you. I know, I know. That's what makes this all so hard. I had a nice night, did you? That was neat. Smooth operation. Where is she? Don't know. Gone off to find someone else to sleep with. Leave it out, will you? Well, she jumped into bed with you pretty sharpish, didn't she? Just drop it. Why? Is she upstairs now, keeping the sheets warm for you? I said, drop it. What if I don't want to drop it? What if I want to keep it going? Don't. That tart you slept with was my girlfriend. You call her a tart. That slag you slept with she was ain't my slag, girlfriend. Right? Well, what shall we call her? Tart slag. Oh, Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it. All right, all right. Cool. Stop it! Pack it in! Oh. There's nothing to say. Go on, talk to me. Oh, Claire, listen to me. I've told you there's nothing to say. Just, just let me explain. What's the point? I know what went on. You laid a bearer boy. Well, good for you. Don't start, Michelle. Who says I'm starting? It's got nothing to do with you. You don't think so? No. I'm your sister. Well, it's not your offence, is it? Oh, that's very funny, Mark. Yeah. Listen, let me get on and sort out my problems my way, please. It's not that easy. I don't see why not. I go to college with Shelley. What are you talking about? I'm talking about you and Shelley. I'm talking about the fact that this is a total cock-up. She knows about me now. That is it. The rest is down to work. Oh, you really think that's it? Supposing she goes and tells everyone. What are you talking about? Everybody will know that my brother's HIV. What? Well, that'll happen. It what? won't happen. Yes, it will. But she's not going to go shooting her mouth off to anyone or listen. She's not like that. You don't know what she's like. Oh, this is the real problem, is it? Your life might be upset. Yeah. No, I don't think so. Yes, that's the problem. No, it's not, Michelle. You were never like this with me and Rachel. It's something else, isn't it? What's your problem? Come on, tell me. What's it all about? I don't know. Yes, you do. Tell me. I don't know. I didn't think it was ever real. To me. Not till Jill's day. It's always been real for me. No, I know, I know. Not for me. I think it was some mistake, you know, or that nothing would actually happen. And then Jill died. So there's no more pretending. And you, you're so strong. Right through all that. No, I wasn't. You might have thought I was, but I wasn't. The thing is, Mark, I don't know. I'll be able to do it when it happens. I don't know if I'll be able to be there like you were for Jill. You don't have to be. I do. You're not my mother or my wife. I don't expect you to do yeah, anything. Yeah, but they do. They always do. You always expect me to come through like no problem, Michelle. Ah, she's OK. Chip off the old block just like Lou. Well, I hate that. I hate the fact that everybody expects so much. And what happens if one day I can't do it? That I, c I can't deliver? What, what if I'm not up to it? I don't expect anything. You're my sister. All I know is you've always been there. And if you weren't, then I don't know what I'm going to. I'm sorry. Why? 
I just am. I don't have to be sorry for anything. I hate feeling like this. I'm feeling sorry for myself. I hate the fact that sometimes I forget. I forget all that you're going through. I hate that. I just hate the fact that you got this disease, Mark. I just can't handle it. For the first time in my life, there's no decision to take. I don't know what to do and I don't know how to handle it. Because I know that one day I'm going to lose you. And there's nothing I can do about it. Nothing. Vindt zich het een lido? En ook een zetmiddel. Dat was het laatste keer. No. Ik heb het zelf gezegd dat ik niet slaap, maar dan heb ik het wel goed. Be careful. Als ik het niet goed ging. Ik kwam het aan. Ik ging het aan. Ik ging het aan. Ik ging het aan. Try speaking to her. I don't know if she'll listen. She might. Should have told her before that none of this would have happened. You don't know that. You're tired. Mm, a bit. Did you sleep at all last night? No. Drank a bit. Felt sorry for myself a lot. Sometimes I just think there's no point in going on. I met Shelley. So we're with you first. So I'd love to just sit and have a coffee with her or something. Now. You've got to tell her that. I tried. Do try again. Trust me, I'm your sister. Don't waste what time you got, Mark. Try speaking to her, because you never know. Where do we get you from? I'm sorry. I didn't mean you to find out like that. Oh, didn't you? Please don't make it hard on me, Claire. Well, why not? You haven't exactly made it easy for me now, have you? Come on. Well, you haven't. If I'd have known, I'd have brought someone else. <laughs> so that's it, is it? Yeah. Oh, great. And that was I thinking you were heartbroken because we were splitting up. So we're splitting up. We are cancelling our engagement. We were never engaged. I'm going to have to cancel the church, send back the presents. And oh, you just... And I'm not going to tell my mum she'll be heartbroken. She, she looked at me with a daughter. You know, I really hope you and him are going to be very happy and you bear him loads of healthy male babies. You know, your brain is totally screwed up. You should lay off the dope. I'm screwed up. It was you that went off with the barrel boy. That's screwed up. Where is he anyway? Is he scared to face me? I don't know where he is. It didn't work out. After all that. That's right. The student and the Barra boy is a no-no. What happened? Mind your own business. Wasn't he any good? We didn't sleep together. Oh, you saving it for the wedding night? I'm just trying to get a little picture of what happened there, well, Shelley. I've got it. He's gay. Oh, just just leave. He was it. a real animal Please, and you couldn't just hack it. Drop it, Clem. To you, everything's a joke, isn't it? Nothing really matters. That's why you spend half your life stoned. So? So? So it's easier that way. That way you don't have to face anything that's important. Important? 
All right. What's so important? Lots of things. Such as? Life, death. That's not important. That's been happening for centuries. People keep having babies, and those babies grow up and die. That's the way it is. It happens every day, every second. How can that be important? You're only interested in now, aren't you? Yes. I'm only interested in now. This second, that's what's important to me. Well, for now, I hope you're really happy. I will be. You don't know what you're missing. But well, you did, didn't you? Last night. You're so crass, Clem. Me? Yeah, you. Last night wasn't what you think at all. Well, it can't have been that great, can it? Or it'd be here now. It wasn't like that. So you keep saying, Shelley. What happened? Did the Barrow boy try and force you? Is that it? You... Yeah, me what? What? Do you want to know? I would love to know, you know Shelley. Make my day well, complete. Tough. Tough. Because I'm not going to tell you. Mark's outside. He said he'd like a word. I'm just going to go and buy the kid present. we better get going to the airport. I'll be two minutes. I just wanted to put the record straight. You don't have to put anything straight. I realise it was stupid of me. You know, not to tell you before. Yeah. Yeah, it was. If you'd have thought anything of me, you would have told me weeks ago. You know that's not true. I just thought... Mark, as far as I'm concerned, it's over. I feel let down and I feel used, you know, but I'll get over it. I didn't use you. You had me dangling on a piece of thread thinking that everything was going to be perfect, only to be told it could never be anything. Of course it can. Don't, please, Mark. When we get back, if we can when just... We get... When we get back if you just kept out of my way. I can't do that. I'm asking you to, for my sake. I don't want to see you. I want to see you. Oh, don't you understand? I really like you. I really like you, Mark, but there's, there's no future for us. Don't say that. That's the way it is. Please. Please stay out of my life. It's the only way that I can handle this. Yeah. Come on, we could be late, we're gonna miss our plane. I don't wanna go back. Of course you do. What's there to go back for? I might as well stay here and die. Mark? Oh. Come on, cheer up, Mark. You would have thought we'd have got the same treatment from the same girl in the same weekend. We should be in the Guinness Book of Records. Got over it then, have you, Clem? No. Underneath this brash exterior, I'm heartbroken. You're such a jerk, aren't you? Thank you. Here she is. Little Miss Heartbreaker. Glad you got rid of him. Well, it wasn't very nice of me, was it? I mean, I'm, I was meant to be with him all weekend. Yeah, and he was meant to be with you. He made a play for me last night. He did what? So I don't feel so sorry for him. You didn't? No, of course I didn't. Well, the cheating. Oi! Oh, what'd you do that for? That was for having no respect for me or my friend. Why'd you tell her? 
as I wanted to. Oh, well, thanks a lot. Oh, shut up, Clem. I should have known what you were like from the start. Me? It was you having it away behind my back. Yeah, but I told you. Only after I found out. Well, I wasn't going to hide anything. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you keep saying, Shelley, you know, you are brilliant at making up your own rules as you go along. Well, I've had enough. Mark, come on, let's get a move on. We're going to be late for the plane. I'm not going. What? I'm staying here. But you can't. I've got to get back for Vicky. Well, give her a kiss for me and I'll see you when I see her. What? Yeah, I'm what? staying as well. I don't want to spend an hour on the plane with her. And if you think we're getting back together, you can think again. You've left your bag. Well, it serves him right. Oh, I'll taste it. Do we have to? It's all right, I'll carry it. What did Mark say to you? He wants to keep seeing me. And? I can't. Oh, why? Those two are really starting to get to me, man. We can always get a later flight. I might. We could go back tomorrow, I suppose. How much cash you got on you? I've got enough for at least another two days. Oh, I don't believe it. What? <laughs> I left my bag in the station. That's all right. Michelle and Shelley will take it back for you. Yeah. They will? Yeah, I know. Well, so it's not a problem, is it? I mean, if it's money, I'll It's got... not the money. So what is it? What's worrying you, then? Something in the bag. Eh? There's something in the bag. Well, like what? Dope. You what? Well, look, I didn't mean for them to take it through, did I? Fire down is on board. Which I can do to get the way off the cabin. Hello? I need number ship old airport, please. I should have told him it's not my bag. Oh, you could have done that. If you'd done that, they would have wanted to go through it. We would never have caught the plane. It's not as if it's a stranger's. Mm. Yeah, it's urgent. It, it's really urgent. She's, she's on a flight to London. Michelle Fowler. Oh, that hold. Hello? What, you can't? Yeah, 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 I understand, it's all right. All right, thank you. They must already be on a plane. Oh, man. If they get busted... Well, they won't, it'll be all right. Nothing will happen. Now, come on. Let's have another drink. Then let's do this city. So, what does she say to you? I want to know everything. All the details. Excuse me. Can I have a moment? This way, please. What I don't want to hear, <laughs> what I don't want to hear, is that you were better than me. We didn't sleep together. I know. At least I got that far. <laughs> Could you put the bags on the table, please? Just routine. Are these your bags? Yes. Yeah. Let's go out of club. When we said we got them. Agreed. Find a taxi. Agreed. Why didn't you sleep with her? Just because, all right? No, 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 no. Come on, Mark. What? Can't Why sleep with her. Why didn't you sleep with her? Can't sleep with her. Wouldn't. It wouldn't. Yo, taxi! Okay. Thank you. Just a minute.
So we're too bothered, yeah. Understand. You're right, Vicky. Yeah, I'm just waiting for my mum. It's on show back. Any time now. Where's Phil? I don't know. We're sort of not talking at the moment. Nigel. Yeah. I just can't believe he did it. He's just doing someone a favour, Kev. So why don't he let it go? He's done her the favour. That should be the end of it. Well, that's not fair. He never does anything. Oh, I'm knackered. Surprised. You didn't sleep at all last night, did you? Nope. Right. I'm going to go and pick up Vicky. Oh, I'll come with you. I could do with a drink. You got any money? Good point. I have to stay here. Actually, hold on. What are you doing? Well, I lent Clem some money. He's probably still got some of it in here somewhere. <laughs> you know, I'm surprised that um, customs folk didn't think that I was funny. You know, having all these blokes closing my <laughs> I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill him. <laughs>